or it says I am. <laughs> I am alive. All right, so hey everybody, this is Janice, and um, you're seeing me now, but I can turn around and look. Look who I'm seeing. <laughs> so anyway, I am <laughs> I am on the south side of Chicago, and um, my friend Natasha, who many of you know, that's her right there. Um, many of you guys know her. She's got a community garden here, and I was just asking her, wait a minute, what's the deal with this lot, and what's the deal with that lot? And so I'm asking her to tell me. And her sweet kids are coming this way, so it's all going to be good. So now I'll make Natasha tell us what's happening. And then when, and then when the little miss comes and stuff, it's going to be crazy. Well, first of all, it's freezing. It is uh, cold. We are in Chicago. We are a week and a half away from June, and it is freezing. I think it's like 50 degrees um, out here. So we're checking on all of the plants that we we put into the ground when it was 80 degrees outside. Uh, and they're not they happy. Them, and a lot of them are not happy. But my collard greens are doing very well because they are cool weather plants. So they are, they're loving the weather. We may end up having to go and replant tomato plants, but I think they may make it through. Um, so far, I think we only have two full boxes planted out of 36. And then, well, no. Uh, four boxes planted out of 36. So we have 32 more to go. Yay! Yay. And uh, I don't know. Stuff is looking good. We're staying on top of things this year. Because last year, I was not in a very happy headspace. <laughs> At all. To say the um, least. But we're waiting on a soil delivery. And we're going to have our soil topped off. So we're doing a bulk soil. This will be our first year doing it. Working from a hill of dirt. Uh, and then put it into into uh, our boxes. But overall, we're ahead of the game this year. And then the weather, of course, isn't cooperating. All right. So my friends who don't know We So We Grow and Natasha, you may uh, be surprised. So we're in the south side of Chicago. And um, great. I mean, this is a great, like, habitat community. It's awesome. And you'll see that they've just added raised beds on this whole area. And... Um, it's great that Natasha's been able to farm here for a while. She's got so many raised beds and she produces a lot for neighbors and other people are learning about gardening and stuff. But then she's got a few more lots that they're going to get. And it is so cold. She's got on her winter coat. And um, anyway, so there's one over there, that lot and the sweet daughter. And then another lot over there that Natasha's going to be taking over. And then there's a couple more over here, like past that building, that one, and that one that she hopes to be able to take on those lots too. So, oh, also, if you are so inclined, we do have a fundraiser that's helping us fund all of this because it is currently funded out of our pocket um, and with generous donations from folks like you. You can look up uh, We Show We Grow the page because I do not know all the numbers. I tagged it. Okay. I don't know all the numbers behind the fundraising thing, but. Um, we would love any donations you can give because they help uh, provide an education, a food education for those people, both in the city and online. <laughs> exactly. So I don't know if anybody has questions. It's so early and so cold here that we're all wearing our coats um, and it's a little bit nasty. But you see, we're dirty by nature. <laughs> dirty by nature. They're praying mantis egg pots? Yes. What? So we found them all while we were weeding. And we have them. So a bunch of little babies are in the grasses over there. That's why I haven't pulled them out. We also, there. because it's been so dang wet. Look yes. at that. I was at a mushroom farm just recently. Smile. You're on candid camera. She's such a sweetie. So, okay. So the question is, does the city own this land or who owns it? The city right now does own it. But we, the uh, fundraising that we're doing will allow us to purchase our own land and then it will be under the nonprofit we sell we grow um, in Chicago you can purchase lots for a dollar but the alderman has to give their blessing in order to do it and we're still working and trying to convince our alderman that not only um, not only that community gardens aren't ugly or eyesores but they provide a uh, precious commodity for our neighbors and community members so keep your fingers crossed that you know we can we can bring them around 
Yeah, exactly. So you're not too scared of, of any of the bugs no. and, and living Chickens. things? Yep. But there's one thing that bothers you all. What is it? Spiders. Spiders. That's the only thing that has them running out of the community garden. So they can deal with tomato hornworms, cabbage worms. They can deal with the earthworms. Wait, they can deal with... I, I can't deal You don't like the you, tomato The hornworms? tomato hornworms are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> They're about... They get to be about that large and then that that fat. they are nasty yeah they're and they can decimate an entire tomato plant in like a day it's ridiculous if you have two or three of them on one tomato plant they can kill it they can strip all the leaves from it it's uh, ridiculous but we feed them to our chickens yep. so um yeah that's fun but that's about it. There's not a lot in the ground because I'm sure that all of your farmer friends and ag friends know. It's the same. Yeah, it, it's been extremely wet and cold and we can't really get anything down. And I'm playing Russian roulette by having so much stuff in the ground that I shouldn't like tomatoes and watermelon. You have watermelon and tomatoes in the ground? Yeah. Oh, I see tomatoes up there. Yeah. Oh, but well. But the cabbage, the cabbage and the cauliflower, all of those cool weather plants are doing well. You can see they're yeah. you know, still green and thriving. What's your favorite part about? Well, my favorite part is being in the leaves. If I see the leaves, I can tell what, what plant is. You can tell what the plant is by the leaves? So you're pretty proud of that? I'm proud of that too for you. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's fun for working in the garden because some people get to come and you can make new friends. You can make new friends. You are absolutely right. And once it's like producing food, how nice is it to eat tomatoes fresh off of the vine? They're my favorite. But that's not Penelope's well, favorite. That's What's not your Penelope's favorite? favorite. Sugar snap peas. Sugar oh. snap peas. Mine too. <laughs> Y'all both like sugar snap peas? Yeah. And mine are sun sugars and sun gold tomatoes. The first time we just pick it off, we just eat it right away and eat the whole vine. And then they never go into the house to get fixed for dinner? Nope. Nope. Never. I saw Zachary come out, he's right but here he's behind you. He likes hiding. the grass, uh, blades of grass. But that's about it. All right. Well, since you guys don't have any other questions. And it's cold. And it's cold. <laughs> we're going to stop this. Okay, bye. But there's Zachary running. He is here. <laughs> bye, guys.